Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. You know, is it like Spanish or French or something? Nah, like that? my my big cousin Mino had died. Yeah. Like we was already calling each other cousin before he died, but after he died, we found out we were really cousins. Wow. And that shit was crazy. Oh, yeah, so he had died, so his name Mino, and I guess to like show, show how you what, what you call that. You show respect, pay yeah, homage to him? Yeah, some shit like that. So you just took the Mino and put it on your name? Or? Yeah, like that's really what everybody did to be to be hollering that Mino gang shit. Or you'll see people on Instagram, like Slugger Mino, Tay Mino, yeah. JR Mino, like shit like that. So who who's all in Mino gang? Like who all in there besides me and you? It's, it's me, my brother. It's really, it's really me, my brother. Anybody who got that Mino behind their name, I guess they could holler that shit too. But, it, but Mino gang is really it was me, my brother, and Scott. Mm -hmm. Scott just died recently. When he when he passed away? Uh, when that was? Was he with you when I saw you in New Orleans? Or it was before then? I think it was before then. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck that nigga just died though. Just just died. Man, I can't even think of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. He had died in a car crash, though. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. But we got to keep moving, you know, 2018. But we we, we out here, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Clay Mino, everybody talking about you. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i actually going on camera. Was Chase the Plans the first one first to approach you? I'm not sure. Yeah, you the first to interview anybody asked me for an interview. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then I'm like, like, you getting a lot of attention. A lot of tension, you know what I'm saying? Like some people, like, oh, he the next to blow out of BR or whatever. And I'm, I'm happy for you. I want everything to come your way. But we gonna get straight into it, man. Yeah. You from Baton Rouge? Yeah, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now, what, what part of Baton Rouge are you from? I'm from uh, Gardell. Gardell. Yeah. Gardell. And like, and like, like, how, how is it like growing up in Gardell? Like, how is stuff going on for you? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I first moved out here. It was rough, you know, just being light skinned and biracial. Like nigga gon' nigga gon' automatically under you. Mm -hmm. Feel like you pussy, you know. But as I grew older, shit became easy, you know. Niggas find out like, oh, this nigga cool. And when the nigga seen I wasn't gonna play, play with him, you know what I'm saying? You know, my brother had told me the first time a nigga play with you, just go on ahead and put him up bad. He ain't gonna play with you <laughs> again. Yeah. Yeah. So when I start coming like that, niggas demeanor changed towards me. Yeah. You know, niggas start respecting my mind what I had to say, and then that's what led into me rapping. Oh yeah, so like when when did you first start rapping? Or when did you decide like I'm a I'ma take it serious? Well when I was younger I always watched up like really everybody out Mino gang, like I used to watch them rap and shit. Like my cousin Kenneth Powell and mm -hmm. I watched my big brother rap too. So you know when you looking up to somebody, you automatically go and do what they doing. Especially if they raw with it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I had to, I used to just, I, I used to write poetry really in middle school in about sixth grade and shit. Mm -hmm. But besides that poetry shit, one day I was I was in class and I was writing some shit and I just started write, rapping it out loud. And them hoes was like, oh, they like, oh boy, yeah, keep going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. and then my, I had show my little partners too. And they was like, yeah, I'm fucking with that, man. You need to keep going. Like, you really raw. Mm -hmm. And I, from, since then, I just kept, kept going with it. So so right now I know I know you in school. I've been on your IG checking you out. So what what school you go to right now? I go to uh Terra High. Terra High. Yeah. And like and like how is it like? I mean like you in school and people know you rapping now. Like have the attention changed for us? Like oh Clay rapping or like how how is that how is that going for you? Yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie. Before I was rapping, ain't too many people really know me. Ain't too many people fuck with me. Mm -hmm. I start rapping at first. First people was looking like, man, like this nigga rapping, and now everybody know I'm that thing. Mm -hmm. Like they know I'm the raw shit, that bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all the like all the females fuck with me, mm -hmm. majority. But like I could probably count on my hand the amount of people that don't like me. My school show me book who love. I fuck with my school. I love my school. Yeah, I be I be seeing you having fun on Instagram and stuff like that. Like how how is it like balancing your music career and actually like doing your school work and stuff like that? How how hard is that? Or what is what is it like doing that? Handle both. I mean, really, like between schoolwork, 
I get all my, like I'm a senior, so I get out early and shit. Mm-hmm. Cause I was taking high school classes in middle school. Like I just always been elevated, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I get out of school early. On top of that, I get out of school regular, like regular people get out early. And then I got credits that I already been done, so I get out even earlier. So on one day I get out of school about 9.30, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I do all my work at school. And then right after I, I do all my work, I go straight to the studio. Wow. Like, so if I got some shit wrote, I record, or I, I hear J Money and that bitch making a beat, mm-hmm. y'all just making some raw shit, I just go to writing up and up mm-hmm. and then record that day. Wow, wow, that's crazy. So like, what 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 song or what would you what did you think like that made people take you serious as an artist? Like, all right, we know Clay rapping, but not he really rapping. Like what song or what 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 happened that you that you think made the people actually to take you serious? I mean, to be honest, it really started with the Instagram challenges. Mm-hmm. I was I was uh I was doing them Instagram challenges and shit heavy because you know mm-hmm. being up on the Teddy, I'm listening to everything what he telling me. So especially when I see he's, he's successfully doing something, so he must know right about something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he telling me to get the females mine first, and then the niggas gonna follow. True. So I had started rapping to the females and whatnot, and like he said, they was for yeah, they was on my trail after that. They was fucking with that. So after that, then the niggas start following them, and then I had dropped wowzers. Yeah. So they seen me doing the Instagram challenge and shit, and the I don't fuck around like yeah. not around like singing and shit. So I'm knowing that they giving me the under eye. So the whole time I'm keeping all this in my mind and shit, if, like every time I do some music. So then I had her and my brother making wowzers. Mm-hmm. Like you seen that bitch, that oh, wowzers? What, that's when I posted you? Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So my brother had made that wowzers and he was like, man, Clay, you need to get on this bitch. I'm telling you, I know this bitch gonna go. He and I, yeah, I got Carlos on this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Carlos ate that bitch, yeah, we yeah. all ate that bitch. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck with that. So I got on that bitch, I went, it took me about, 10 minutes to write my verse. I'm really in that bitch freestyling it. The writing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or I record some shit and stop, and then sit there and think, and then say some more shit to go with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in that bitch like that with it, cause I'm just feeling the beat. And I I, I really went in there with some guided notes. That's mm-hmm. what I call that. I mm-hmm. got that shit out of English class. Mm-hmm. But I take some notes down, and, and I know what's supposed to go in the gap, so I ain't even gotta write that, so I can really write fast as a bitch. Mm-hmm. So, I put all that together. Damn, we made that wild. I let Teddy hit that bitch. Like, oh yeah, we finna shoot the video of this. Mm-hmm. So we had shot that bitch in Gardell. Dropped that bitch. Everybody was fucking with it. Mm-hmm. And it, it went, it went crazy. Yeah. It, it went dumb. But I want to ask you this, man. Right now, I say for me, Baton Rouge is going crazy collectively. It's talented, talented artists. It's like every day is somebody new. Now you the newcomer. And you gotta have others like overall. What do you think about the city as a whole when it comes to music? Um, I really think Baton Rouge got its own way. Like I feel like ain't nowhere like Baton Rouge. Like even like like niggas that fight in Baton Rouge, you ain't gonna see no other nigga in the U.S. fight like a Baton Rouge nigga mm-hmm. for real. But I feel like Baton Rouge so unique, and I feel like niggas know that we raw. So that's why they get mad when somebody like Say Cheese keep hosting Baton Rouge niggas. Man, niggas know Baton Rouge that thing. Like, yeah. this is the rap city. Like, yeah. real shit, we finna be the next to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that. I think that. And shout out to them. They, been, they, be, they do their thing. Everybody, yeah. everybody doing their thing. Dirty Glove, too. Everybody doing their thing out here, man. And I want to say this, too. Are you, like, like you know, do you or do you have anybody like that that inspire your raps or any any rapper like your mom, dad, whatever that that inspire you or motivate you to keep going with this music stuff? Yeah, really. My my uh first the first person that ever really inspired me, my cousin Kenneth Paul. Mm-hmm. I watched Lil One, Lil One the Champ, Ryan the Rap Game, Go Yellow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Gates, really I love Gates. Yeah, Gates out, man, you know. And, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm I'm fucking with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They will sleep on my dog.